In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your first thousand dollars with online poker or even live poker. At the beginning, I thought poker is confusing or learning poker is confusing and overwhelming and complicated. And I studied a little bit of everything. And of course, I made zero progress. But also back then, we didn't have courses available. So we had to do all the shit on, on, on ourselves and find all the materials and Luckily, I also found great mentors, great coaches, and also the right materials. And once I had a structured plan, I, I skyrocketed. And, and then I got the results in poker. So I know that most of you probably have tried lots of different resources. But the problem is, A, you don't have access to the right resources. And you're also spreading your attention everywhere. And you're trying to apply too many different concepts at once. And that's not going to get you any results. So in this video, I want to give you a free guide free of charge, especially when you get into poker and uh, you don't know where to start and you don't really know if poker is even something for you, especially learning poker, studying poker. I think we all enjoy playing poker for fun and gambling a bit and goofing around, but then taking poker more serious, it's literally like investment. It's very dry, no emotions, knowing the numbers, knowing equities and playing a long-term winning strategy, playing a very patient and tight style. Now, I'm going to share six, five tips, one bonus tip at the end that you can do step by step in order to get into poker, start building your bankroll and make your first thousand dollars. Number one, take our free five day course. And of course, I'm going to be recommending you raise your edge materials. What do you think we are doing here? And the reason why I created the course and we also have the free tier and pair that I'm going to be recommending later is because that's what's the number one question. For many years, we only had paid content at some point. I was tired of answering the same question. I was like, fuck this, I'm gonna create a free course. I can just send the link and you can get started there. And I'm actually shocked how many people still are not aware, probably because our marketing sucks, but it's a different story. <laughs> I'm not aware that we have a free course. So you can sign up five days, every single day you get access to a video, mindset, bankroll management, pre-flop, post-flop, ICM. You get to learn the most basic concepts and honestly, it's probably more valuable than some of the paid content out there. It's a ballsy message, I know, but check it out. No strings attached, no hidden fees, it's for free. Number two, sign up for Pair. We have a free tier in there as well, where you can do daily quizzes. And it's a great way of gaining experience and getting immediate feedback, whether you played a pre-flop spot or post-flop spot wrong, and you learn the basic and the fundamentals. Most of you are just cruising around solver here, solver there, course there, video there, tool there, and you're just overwhelmed and confused, and you're just trying to uh, play a solver strategy. I mean, if you would at least even play a proper solver strategy, you probably would make at least some money, but it's really hard to apply. And the problem is you don't know what the fuck you're doing and why you're doing it. And in poker, it's not about copying a strategy. If you're copying a strategy, it just means you haven't understand uh, the strategy in the first place. In poker is about understanding why you want to do certain things and then exploit and adjust. And this takes time, don't worry. So it's important to have someone that explains you the concepts. That's what I believe in and I know will also bring you the long lasting results. So the free course in combination with paired, the free tier that you don't need to uh, also, you don't need to pay. Of course, we also have a paid version, but you get also access to some free ranges that you can practice with some daily post flop quizzes. And every day you have spots that you can practice with. Number three, it's also part of the course, but I'm also going to put it here and important to study. That's why I mentioned it separately. Our pot odds charts and odds and outs charts. This is where you learn the basic, the absolute basics, and you don't need to be a math guru. Check it out, take it serious, try to apply it, uh, practice with that, learn how much equity you have with flush draws, how many outs you have, some very basic stuff. I would even recommend this to some advanced players because the way they're chasing their draws, they're certainly punting money away and it's worth revisiting those fundamentals. And this brings me to number four, Power Equilab from Poker Strategy. We're not directly affiliated with them, um, but it's a great tool I'm using here myself. Um, I'm not even sure, but I think they have maybe not power equilab, but they also have another equi equity tool on poker strategy. If you go tools, you will find either power equilab or another just equilab. It's an equity tool where you can practice your hand against ranges, how much equity you have, where it is very important to understand, start learning the concept of ranges and putting your opponent on ranges. And I know at the beginning, you might have no fucking clue what your opponents might be playing. But that's why paired is so powerful because with the preflop ranges, you can have an orientation what kind of ranges they might be playing. And then you put your hand 
on this board versus this range, how much equity you have. You'll be surprised. Sometimes with the ACES, you have 80%. Sometimes you only have 50% because the board is dangerous. And it will help you to stop overplaying your good ends. And they're actually way more dog shit than you really think. And you're going to start making good faults because we think in equity and not beautiful looking ACES. Because on some boards, ACES is just complete garbage. And you're not falling in love with your hand. That's a super important mindset to have in poker to think about in numbers and not aces because just the front end it's just the picture what actually matters is the number that stands behind it and yes preflop it might be 80 or 90 percent but sometimes post up on certain boards is 30 40 percent but you guys are not able to fold because you think i have aces and a top player thinks in terms of equity fuck i only have 35 40 45 percent equity here so i'm most of the time an underdog and he over bets and i need more than 40% equity, so I'm probably should be, I should probably be falling here. It's a great way in combination with paired to practice. Now, this brings me to number five, join our Discord for free. We have coaches active there. You can post your hands. So if you have no fucking clue what your opponent might be playing, post, share your thoughts. They will help you. They give you feedback. I get lots of messages from you guys. Oh, ben, I'm shy and I don't have poker friends. We're in 2023. Discords, forums, Maybe you're still using MSN and ICQ or whatever the fuck it is. I don't care. But you have so many tools at hand that you can use to connect with people. The poker world. Come on. Get your ass up. Being shy is not an excuse. So post there. Share your thoughts. We, we are very, very strict when it comes to negativity, negativity, toxicity. No matter where you are, we just start. All we want to see is that you take it serious. And you just don't post and Hey, can I get feedback? Here? Share your thoughts. What you think in this hand? Because this is how we make you better. That we can tell you, hey, you have a flawed thought process here. Because that's a dangerous thing in poker. You might play a hand well and it looks all great. But you just got lucky. You actually have a fucked up thought process. Sometimes you might play a hand badly. But you actually had a good thought process. But the results was just not good. So that's why it's always to post your reasoning. And then our coaches or myself, we can get in and give you proper feedback. And especially at the beginning, when you struggle putting opponent on ranges, we can tell you, yeah, very likely he's not going to have these hands. He's probably going to have these hands. This range looks more reasonable. You can take this range, put it in your equilibrium, see how much equity you need, boom, and you result. And if you do this on a daily basis, 10, 15 minutes, you get a lot of practice in combination with playing and watching the course. <sighs> you will do a lot quicker process and then you have a framework, a system, not left and right distractions, focus on one thing and you will slowly start seeing the progress. You need way less than you think, but in these days, all information overload, it's very, very hard to stay committed to one system, executing on this, staying on the path and getting the results. My last tip, number six, download Holy Resource Cal Calculator, a great tool uh, if you feel fancy, that would be my uh, advice if you want to take it a little further. If you have the time uh, in combination with all the other um, tips that I just shared. Great way of getting familiar with short stack poker. There are also a lot of tutorials. It's worth spending the time. If you really consider going pro in poker, this is a tool you must understand. With HRC, we actually partnered up. So we can also um, provide you a link. And with a discount, you can sign up with, these, uh, with this tool. But you don't have to. They also have... A free version a trial version where you can practice uh, short stack poker put in the situation the stacks and then run the results and see if you did a proper all-in a proper fold a proper call and again this also takes some practice because yes you can use the Nash equilibrium meaning that the tool proposes ranges and then you can see all right did you do the right play against this range but again it assumes that our opponents are playing perfect that's often not the case, so we want to make adjustments. This is also where community comes into play, giving you feedback in terms of whether you, you uh, used a correct range or not. Because very often, uh, players put uh, the opponent on a completely a complete false range, and then, of course, you get uh, inaccurate results, and this is not what we want. This is why we're taking Discord and our community so serious, and we also have a lot of active coaches and experienced players that help less experienced players. So what are you waiting for? No excuses. You literally get a free guide, free mentorship, a free community uh, for free if you want to make your first steps. And certainly it's possible to make your first grand with poker, build up your bankroll and then take it from there and take the next steps on your ladder to becoming a professional poker player.